going to be a first impressions slash demo on a product that I talked about in my last video, which was my Sephora slash drugstore mini haul part one. Um, if you haven't seen it, I will link it down below so that you can go check that out because it's going to be a demo day today. I have zero makeup on my face, which is always really scary when you get in front of the camera and then upload this video to YouTube for anybody to have a look at. But in order for this to be an accurate demo, I wanted to make sure that um, you know, you get the real deal and you get the real um, results. So yeah, if you're wondering what I put on my skin before I apply my foundation, I use the Josie Moran um, Argan Daily Moisturizer with SPF. I love, love, love this lotion, especially if you have dry skin because it is like a lotion with a high SPF, but it feels like a serum on your face and it's so nice. And it gives you that like dewy finish. It's just beautiful. So I use that and then I also use my Mario Badescu um, facial spray and I love this stuff. It's got aloe and rose water. It's very calming for the skin and I have like really red, you know, I have red patches in through here and I get red here and it just, I feel like it helps calm the skin and kind of brings it back down and balances pH and adds hydration. So I really like that. So those are my go-to combo right now. So since about March, I've been using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Eliminating. And I knew that because fall and winter are coming, I wanted to get away from using that. So I was gonna need a foundation. And my go-to foundation is usually the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, but they changed the formulation and I swatched it in Sephora and I was kind of, I will like I was hesitant not to buy it so um, I scoured Sephora and tested all the different foundations some I had tried before some I hadn't and I was thinking do I just go back to like a good old trusted foundation or do I try something new and that's when I walked by the Armani display and was just like Oh no, like I'm gonna have to try this. All right, let's talk a little bit about the product. I made some notes because I wanted to give you guys the full meal deal here. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I am in the color 4.75, and that is a light skin with rosy undertones, just in case you're wondering and you see this and you like it or you're curious what color I am and you have fair skin as well. Um, this is a really big line. There's 23 shades in the line, and I feel like that's a substantial range of colors. They have something for everybody. Fair skin, dark skin, olive skin, um, with pink undertones, yellow undertones, neutral. They have a full spectrum, so you would definitely be able to find something that would fit your skin tone for sure. So the packaging, I feel like the packaging is solid. Even the pump itself is a really nice pump. I don't feel like there's gonna be any issues there. I did try the pump out before the video just so I could mention that in case you guys are wondering if the packaging is legit or if it's flimsy, because I know sometimes you pay a lot of money for high-end brands and then the packaging falls apart and it's kind of a bummer. So, yeah, $62 for one ounce. So it is a really expensive foundation, um, but I've heard really good things about it. This is a lightweight foundation, but it's a buildable formula. It's supposed to give a radiant, natural finish to the skin. So it's supposed to be a bit illuminating, but it's supposed to look very natural and supposed to replicate the closest to your natural skin texture and sort of look and feel. From the research I did, Giorgio Armani was inspired to make this foundation based around a silk. Based around a silk that was worn by kings and emperors, it's one of the finest silks, and he wanted to make this foundation replicate that look and feel on the skin. So, um, yeah, I guess there's not much more to talk about with regards to the foundation. Um, itself. Now it's just time to try it out and see what I think. So I'm going to be applying this with my beauty blender. This is clean. It just looks kind of gnarly. Consistency is pretty thick. It doesn't move a lot on the hand. It's not a watery based foundation by any means. It's got some good consistency to it. So I'm going to start with two pumps and see where that takes me. So I've got my mirror here and here we go. So I'm just gonna pick up some of this 
and put it on. So already I can tell that it's very lightweight. Like it's very, very lightweight. Yeah, I can barely feel anything. You know, sometimes you put your foundation on and you can like immediately feel like you're putting like paste on your face. Um, that isn't the case. And I have a lot of freckles and stuff, so we'll see how it sets. We'll give it some time and see if it like oxidizes weird or... And my chest is a bit red because I just like used the blow dryer and the curling iron and the wand and everything on my hair. It was like 100 degrees in the bathroom, so that was fun. Okay, so that's kind of like the first kick at this. Um, if, like I can't feel anything. It just feels almost like when you put like a lightweight moisturizer on your face, that's kind of the feeling. Um, I would definitely, like I'm definitely going to give it another pump here. I just like get really red in through here. So I just want to see, put a little bit more on and see, um, and I have like really intense freckles right now because I always get them in the summertime and then in the fall and winter as like I'm like in the sun less and less, they like really, um, diminish, but so I can definitely see like my freckles through this foundation, which I'm okay with. I used to have a big issue with my freckles and I used to want to try and cover them up, but like that's my skin and you know, you shouldn't look like you have a mask on when you wear foundation. That's kind of like my take on it. I feel like you should still, it should still look like your skin just a little bit, you know, a little bit better, a little more evened out. Um, but still be your skin. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder. Just try to see what this looks like for you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you that it definitely applies super nice with the Beauty Blender. I really like using the Beauty Blender to apply this. Now I haven't, um, I haven't used the brush with this, so I don't know, but just by using the Beauty Blender, I can tell because it's so lightweight that the brush probably would just kick it around a lot. Um, and the brush would probably eat a lot of the product. So I know with the Beauty Blender, you get a little bit more give with how much product is actually absorbed from it. Whereas a brush just kind of takes it and like eats it all up. So with thicker foundation, oh, that was like, I just used a Kleenex and there's like dust everywhere. Um, I know with um, like thicker foundations, you can kind of get away with it because they don't absorb as quickly, but this is really lightweight. So I would steer clear of using a brush. I would definitely stick to using my beauty blender. Um, okay. So it's kind of been on my skin for a couple of minutes now. Um, it did a really good job of covering up redness and like imperfections in the skin. It definitely evened out my skin tone a lot more and made it look like my skin, but better. I really am happy with it. I think that it did a really good job for being such a lightweight foundation of covering that redness because sometimes that can be difficult for me and my skin. Um, but you can still see my freckles and it still looks like my skin. It just looks more evened out. Um, it definitely has a natural finish to it, but it's not matte. It's almost like satin. It's not really super dewy and illuminating, but it's definitely not a matte foundation. It's somewhere in the middle. So... I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm really liking that. And 
I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation at all, so that's great. So it really truly is a lightweight foundation. I know it still looks kind of scary because now I just look like washed out. Um, it's not tacky, it's not sticky or tacky on the skin, it feels really nice. So that's nice to know. Um, what else can I say about this? I'm, I think I'm really impressed with this. I'm really excited that I picked this up and I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Um, I will definitely, you know, down the road keep you guys posted after I use it and I get into using it more um, and maybe give you some more final thoughts about it. But So that's it guys, I just wanted to do a quick first impressions and give you guys a little demo um, because I had mentioned this product in my haul and I had never used it and I was really excited to dive in and use it and I will keep you updated as to um, what I think more in depth once I use it for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. That would mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.